Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the number of terms in a polynomial. What is the maximum number of terms a polynomial can have? So we have seen polynomials of type something like this. Can I have uh, 1000 terms? Can I have polynomial of something like 198? plus 197 dot 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 x plus 1 this will have 199 terms yes I can actually a polynomial can have any finite number please note any finite number it will not have infinite number but any finite number of terms you can also have x to the power 9 9 9 9 9 9 9 right and then the list goes and plus x plus 1 so we'll have this will have these many terms these many plus 1 terms okay so yes the number of terms in a polynomial is any infinite any finite number please note it is not infinite any finite number you can think of any finite number you can think of any big number so it can have the, that many terms Okay, so now we'll try to classify the polynomials in the number of terms. Number of terms, for example, it will have only one term, then it can be, for example, 5x square. Two terms, for example, 5x square plus 2x. Three terms, for example, 5x square plus 2x plus 8. So if you see, here there is a one term, here two terms, here three terms, right? One, two, three terms, one, two terms, and so we can actually classify them into monomials, binomials, and trinomials. So monomials, monomials one, that means it has one term. You can think, uh, remember this uh, monocycle, binomial by is two. Two terms you can remember bicycle trinomial is tri is three so you can remember tricycle so monocycle bicycle tricycle is a good way to remember these terms so monomial is which has one term for example let's suppose let's take eight y square binomial two term eight z square plus three z trinomial can be three terms two z square plus z plus 8 let's go okay three terms two terms and one term okay not very critical classification because it does not make much difference for us if it is it has two terms one term or three terms but yeah good to know the definition one term monomial two term binomial three terms trinomials Okay. And please note all these are polynomials. In fact, monomials, binomials, trinomials, all these are called polynomials. If you want, we can take more examples here. Or that should be fine, I think. The next topic is degree of polynomial. Please note this is a little critical topic. This is nothing but the highest power of variable in a polynomial. So by definition, highest power of a variable in a polynomial is called degree of polynomial. For example, if I have a polynomial 7x to the power 5 plus 6x square plus 2. So the highest power is 5. So the degree of this polynomial will be 5. So let's suppose we have another polynomial. 10x to the power 4 plus 2x plus 5. Here the highest power is 4. So the degree of this polynomial is 4. Let's suppose let's take one more polynomial y to the power 8 plus 2. Here the degree is 8. Let's take this. Here the degree is what? So if you see 8 is nothing but 8 to the into u to the power 0 because it is u. I will make it to the power 0. So here the degree is 0. Here degree is 8, here degree is 4, here degree is 5. Let's take one more. Take 
tell me what is the uh, degree of this polynomial see it is not even polynomial because for it to be polynomial these powers has to be whole number minus 5 is not a whole number so this is not a polynomial okay so to remember degree of uh, polynomial remember the degrees you get this is maybe a degree in school this is a degree in college and this is degree when you do a masters or phd right doctorate all these degrees has different values right school degrees of less importance college degree is of higher importance and doctorate degree is is of the highest importance similarly here the when you talk about degree you talk about power right so this guy is guy with a doctorate degree may be having more power he knows more uh, subject he is more smart maybe a person with just a school degree will not have much power will not be uh, well equipped with knowledge similarly here when you talk about degree you talk about power right these powers these are the maximum powers determine the degree so let me repeat once again the highest power of variable in a polynomial is called degree of polynomial highest power of variable in a polynomial is called degree of polynomial so please don't get confused with monomial binomial and trinomial terms that is a very uh, non important topic i can say not much important and that is nothing but the number of terms you have to count so this will be uh, trinomial this is also a trinomial this is binomial this is monomial this is also trinomial but when you talk about degree you talk about the highest power degree 5 degree 4 degree 8 degree 0 it will have different terms as well for these degrees we'll talk about that later before that let get comfortable in uh, some degrees so let's try to find degree of these uh, polynomials so in the first case the highest power is x to the power 5 and this is a polynomial so the degree is 5 in this case this is also polynomial because all the powers are either 0 by to the power 0 2 3 8 these are all whole numbers this is a polynomial highest power is 8 so the degree of the polynomial is 8 2 i can write as 2x to the power 0 so here also 0 is the highest power and 0 is a whole number so the degree of this polynomial is 0 you can take more examples to understand the concepts of degree of polynomial in fact i'll show you that zero polynomial this is what this is zero polynomial in this case degree is not defined degree is not defined and that is you see it is special for zero polynomial the degree is not defined we'll talk about this later why for zero polynomial degree is not defined just wait for some time so as i told that since we have different degrees of uh, polynomial we can actually classify the polynomial as linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial based on the degree so if the degree is 1 it is linear polynomial degree is 2 quadratic and cubic degree is 3 cubic if you see when you talk when you think of cubic you think of x cube when you think of quadratic you think of x square when you think of linear you think of x right linear is a line if you think of quadratic rectangle x square or uh, square x square when you think of cubic you think of uh, cubes and cubes if the size is uh, the length is x the volume is x cube so when you think of linear polynomial think of x when you think of quadratic polynomials think of x square when you think of cubic polynomial think of x cube here the power is 1 the maximum power is 1 here the maximum power is 2 here the maximum power is 3 okay so example for linear polynomial if you see px i can say that 8x plus 5 for quadratic let's suppose i can say that let's suppose i take y here you can see that like 8y square plus 9y plus 5 so here the maximum power is 2 for cubic let's suppose let's take z you can say 3z cube plus 2z square plus 8 so here also if you see the maximum power is 3 
here maximum power is 2 here maximum power is 1 also please note that the linear polynomial can have at the max two terms it cannot have at the max more than two terms it can have max two terms similarly the quadratic polynomial can have at the max three terms and for cubic polynomial it can have at the max four terms i can show you one of the four terms for example 3z cube plus 2z square plus 4z plus 5 let's suppose right so maximum four terms 1 2 3 4 okay so linear polynomial maximum two terms quadratic polynomials maximum three terms cubic polynomials maximum four terms linear polynomial think of x maximum power is x to the power one Quadratic polynomial, think of x square, maximum power is 2 for a variable. Cubic polynomial, think of x cube, the maximum power is 3. Okay. So, linear polynomial, actually, if you want to write in a general way, let me do that. So, linear polynomial, I can write in a generic way as ax plus b, where a should not be equal to 0. Quadratic polynomial I can write as a y square plus b y plus c. Here a should not be equal to zero. Zero. And cubic polynomial I can write as let's suppose a z cube plus b z square plus c z plus d. Where here also a should not be equal to zero because if a is equal to zero, this becomes b z square plus c z plus d. That will be quadratic polynomial, right? So here these a terms should not be equal to so here if you see in the general formula, general expression, the maximum number of terms for linear polynomial is two terms. For quadratic polynomial, the maximum number of terms is three terms. And for cubic polynomial, the maximum number of terms is four terms. Right? For linear polynomial, the maximum the power is one. For quadratic polynomial, the maximum power is two. For cubic polynomial, the maximum power is Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.